Okay. The last week, February 15th, uh, 2021, a Monday. So this would be actually class uh, 13. Today we begin writing questions. Hello, Irene. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. You. I am very well. Thank you for asking, teacher. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. And you? Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. It sounded a little soft, but yes, I can hear you. How was your weekend? Your look. Oh, I look different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I got, I went my for a weekend. My week. Sorry? Go ahead, go ahead, tell me. Okay, uh, my weekend was very, very busy and very funny. Thank you. What about you? Okay. Very fun. Very fun. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Yes. Funny is like a, a Chespirito or, or Pepito. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, why? What happened? What did you do? Um, Friday in the night. Uh -huh. I went to a party. Okay. Okay. So Friday. Uh, Saturday. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Uh -huh. I went to Friday night. I went to a paneca. Oh. Okay. That's nice. And yeah, did you stay in a paneca or only did you return on Friday night? I had door the free night. Only one moment. <laughs> okay. For the dinner. Oh, okay. And Irene, you live in San Salvador. No, 
I live in Santa Ana, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. I because I think wow, from San Salvador to Apaneca is a drive. <laughs> uh huh. No, I live in Santa Ana. It's near Apaneca to me. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Because from San Salvador is is a little bit of time. Yes, it's very long. Yeah. But. That's great. That was that was great. Yeah, that's nice that you have an opportunity to go to a, a go out for dinner, enjoy, not only in the house. Uh -huh. The weather is very nice too. I imagine nice and cold. Mm -hmm, very cold. <laughs> and uh, any questions on the platform, Miren? Uh, only some work because I finished the middle exam and the number two and the number two but in in some case I have a dude but in English cooperative offers me the, the help but I I didn't have time mm -hmm. to check oh, okay but I get I got perfect. I got that the grade uh, 80, 85 percent. Oh, okay, that's uh -huh. good. But, uh, but but I need to uh, finish this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see, please. Yes. For example, in the final exam, section three and four, uh, I answer, answer, answer the number one, two, the number three, I have a problem because I, I answer the number two uh, when, in, when I check, it's bad, that my answer, my answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one is the number five and the number ten too. For section uh, three. Final, like final exam. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, how much time will be given to prepare your answer in integrated questions? It's, it's 20 seconds, but my, my bad answer is the number three. Ah, number three. Okay, sorry. For the integrated questions three and four, which skills will be put in before you speak your answer, into practice before you speak your answer? Ah, okay. So the idea is, um, if you remember the videos, uh, we have for questions three and four, you have two skills that you need to do before you speak. Do you remember what you need to do? Please listen to the audio. This is one, but also th there are two types. So one is, is this, and the other? Uh, read the information. Correct. That's the answer. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the, the answer in this case is read the answer. No, the answer in this case is reading uh -huh. and listening. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm, because those are the two activities that you need to do. Ah. Uh, and I, I, I understand that, uh, how much? Uh, I answered it too. <laughs> ah, okay, so okay. Uh-huh. No, only the, the, the question is what, what two skills you'd use uh, to uh, answer before you answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. The, the, the next uh, bad for me is the number five. Number when five. Is score, which three, Feature will they check on? Ah, okay, so when they give you the grade, what three are the things that they need, they are evaluating? Uh, so when they evaluate your speaking, what three things do they evaluate? They evaluate three things in speaking for your grade. And the pronunciation. Okay. 
vocabulary. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Okay. So that that is the the the, the main idea. They evaluate uh, how you speak. How you speak is called is called delivery. Okay, that's one. Okay, then, like you say, the vocabulary, or that is called the language. Okay, or what you say is the language use. Okay, and the third one is actually specifically about what they give you. Okay, and that's going to be called topic development. Them, the answer uh, maybe topic development, the vocabulary, and the other. So the answer is if, if you look in the chat, is th that's how it's going to have to be. So it's going to be delivery, language use, and topic development. Ah, okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. Remember to and use a comma. Yeah. Remember to use a comma yeah. after each each word. Okay, the language you teach is the, the vocabulary thing. Yeah, they do. so when you say, when they talk about delivery, this is about the how you speak, the intonation, the pronunciation. They think of it this, okay? So the language use is the words, the vocabulary that you use, okay? That's the language use. And the topic development is the whatever topic they give you, if you can uh, give information, sustain uh, why yes or no, or for or against, or examples. That's the idea. Okay. So, Daniel and Erenia, uh, just in case you are a little bit lost, we are looking, uh, we are answering her questions for the exam, final exam, sessions three and four. And it's just some of the answers that she was wrong. The one that we just talked about, delivery, language use. This is number five. This is question number five in the final exam. Good evening. OK, thank you, teacher. I'm well, going to into the platform. Let me see. OK. Yeah. Hey, uh, there you uh, go. And you look. Edwin. Yeah, yeah, Daniela, new look. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Uh huh. Okay. And Irene, what was the other question, or, or only that? Uh, always a check back topic the value. Share your screen, Irene, or, or 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 put in the chat. What did you write? Okay, I will share my screen because it's this. Delivery, language use, language use. No, period. no period. No period. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You, you, sometimes is is the is the little thing that you <laughs> that you forget. <laughs> what what is that, Edwin? What meter or which one? This was question number five. Question number five for the final answer. That was a, what the final exam. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's the the idea was in the chat, which is the correct words are delivery, language use, and topic development. And I was explaining because uh, Irene had the correct idea, but she used the wrong vocabulary, because yes, is for for example pronunciation. Intonation, this is called delivery. Uh, the, the correct ways for how you speak or what you say, the words that you use, the vocabulary, this is called language use. And then the topic that the exam gives you and how you speak about it, if you understand it, you can describe it. That was the third one, which was topic development. I, I can in the platform. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Irene, that was it, correct? Or, or you had another question? Only 
that uh, the, the, the last one missing, but I will, I will find. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank okay, you. remember there is, is, there are three things. So it says, usually what kind of questions will you be asked for in this type of independent writing question? Okay, so normally you have, we're going to look at in this week, but uh, normally you have three things that are being asked in writing, in especially independent writing. Uh, well, sometimes four, but that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. The answer? Did you say? Did you did you say the answer? Irene showed that the number three was the or no, sorry, the the number five was right, Irene. No, the number ten, teacher. Uh, no, number 10, not yet, Daniel, because uh, Irene is going to try for the, during the class this week to see if she learns and then can put in the answer. Okay. Okay. I, I, I just in, in the the platform right now, but I, I didn't get any answer. But I, I know, I don't know if we can, or I will look Irene after. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah you first you try first you try and if you have any problems just like Irene then you ask and we try to help you okay okay all right but... uh, before we continue uh, Irene or Cecilia or Rocio or Daniel do you have any questions maybe from the midterm from the sections something that, uh, or Everything is okay. No, I, I have some doubts and then midterm too, Edwin. In in which in which one, Daniel? Le, the midterm exam. Okay. Let me my 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 PC is very slow. No problem. Know what happened? It's okay. It's I part have. of the technology. In the midterm uh, for section one and two. The mm -hmm. question number one, type the four types of reading question you study in this course. Uh -huh. What are the four types of reading questions we have? There are four different things that are part of the reading. Do you remember? Uh, no. There are, remember the... we have vocabulary questions? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What else, what other questions were there? Uh, but this just vocabulary question is for both words or just vocabulary? No, no, you need both words, vocabulary and then ah. questions, and then questions. Mm -hmm. Because there were four types, there were four types of questions that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the first answer is vocabulary questions, con S, with S at the end. No. No S. Ah. Vocabulary question. Vocabulary uh -huh. questions. Okay. What else? Um, we need three more. Uh, what? 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 Vocabulary question. What other type of questions are there in in the first parts for the listening and speaking? Right. Listen and speak. Oh. oh, sorry, for the reading. Imagine the reading. What, what other are there for the reading questions? There's vocabulary. Anybody else remember? No, this is the, oh. this is Daniel is asking for the midterm, midterm exam, question number one. Okay, so don't worry, Daniel. In the video, we can see the answers, but we have vocabulary questions, reference question, reference, reference. Uh, yeah, reference. That's the second one. Yeah, that's the second one. Mm -hmm. Anybody else remember any other, uh, any other of the questions that we have? Interpret question. Uh, repeat. Interpret question. Ah, similar, similar. Okay. Is okay. This is 
we have insert text question, but before that, we also have sentence simplification question. So we have vocabulary question, comma, reference question, comma, sentence simplification question, comma, or we check. No, sentence, sentence simplification question, no comma, sorry. I remember that's one. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is insert text question. Meeting what, teacher? It's, it's in the chat, Irene. Ah, okay. Okay, insert that uh, in the chat, okay? Insert, uh, insert text, ah, okay. <laughs> insert text, this is yeah. insert text. Yeah, so those are the, diff the four different types where one, they give you the, the highlight word and they say this word is similar in meaning to so-so. The other is uh, they give the, the word and they say uh, the word this or they or what refers to that is the second type okay then the third one was sentence simplification question is uh, just what are they talking about what is the main idea and the last one was they have a space and put the correct word to complete the sentence those were the four different types of questions that they ask you in the exam Okay, Edwin. Um, Teacher, sorry, I, I always I have bad than my, my answer because vocabulary question, reference question, sentence simplification question, and the last one is insert text question. But it's bad. Do me a favor, Irene. Look at the chat and copy and paste from the chat. That yes, way you don't. Yes. That way you don't have problems. I did. I did that. No, no, because what you wrote there is not what is in the chat. Okay, I, 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 I copy paste. Yes, it's right. Uh huh. It's because you have some, you have a, a few small mistakes in it. For example, you have a comma in the incorrect place. You have, uh, you don't use the word and. You don't. So, so is. It's small mistakes, but it's, that's why the, the system says it's wrong. So to be easier, copy and paste from the chat. Okay. Ah, for the previous teacher. <laughs> for the now it's okay, Irene? Yes, it's okay because I missed the period. <laughs> uh-huh. That's why I say it's, it's, the, it's the small mistakes, but... If you don't put in correctly, the system says it's wrong. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Daniel? I, I have another one, Edwin. Okay. What is the, the number other? six? What do you, what do fun, function questions identify? Uh -huh. What do they identify? It's the number six. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think they identify? Answers for, mm -hmm. for, for best compre comprehension. Oh, okay, possibly not comprehension, but uh huh, because this is exactly is they they give you the specific meaning in in the videos. That's why you if if you watch the video, they have the exact exact answer. I, I remember, I see the video, but I remember <laughs> what, what he said. What? Did you see it, Anna? Okay. Did you see Daniel? In uh -huh. 
Ajá. Vas. It's a, it's a long answer. It's a long answer. Exactly. Ah. Because it's, ah. that's what they said. That's the definition that they give you. Okay. Yes, Irene? Missing the, the number three, two. The, the, the midterm number number what did it number number three ah, okay so the phrase x in the passage is closest in meaning to ah okay so when when you see these instructions what question what type of question is it that's what they're asking you Irene. Simplification. so when you see the phrase in the passage is closest in meaning to what what this is a sample of which type of reading question? What type of question is that when they ask you? Simplification question, teacher? No. Uh, repeat, Irene. Simplification question? No, not simplification, but close. What, a different word, a different word. Reference question vocabulary questions because it's closest in meaning so closest in meaning is like a synonym or similar so these are vocabulary questions only that one Irene? only that thank you okay you're welcome you're welcome daniel um, I am checking the number three vocabulary question. Uh huh. With that was vocabulary question. Yes. Yes. No, but. It's vocabulary questions. I don't know why it's wrong. Because, well, from your pronunciation, you pronounce an S. Did you put an S? Yes. No, no S. It's no. vocabulary no questions. S. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Okay, and we raise the A S in with period at the end too. Yeah, no, no period. No, 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 no period. No period too. <laughs> no period. Okay. No, but it's wrong again. I know. I mm. No, it ain't put correctly. Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe with capital, no, no, exactly, no, I don't know. Mm, try with capital, but okay, I think... Okay, okay, okay with, with capital. No. I will double check. No, with, with capital, no. No. No, I think this is the problem. The problem is the, the, the platform, the prop, I think the platform, it's spelled incorrectly. Put spell like that, Daniel. Ah, without the vowel. Yeah, I think that the, the, the platform has a mistake. Uh, let me check. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay. I never think that could be missing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is, is not you, it's the platform, so it's okay. All right, so, uh, Rocio, Cecilia, Erenia, any questions? No, teacher. Okay, no, Cecilia. I was taking notes. Okay, good, Erenia. Excellent, great idea. That way you have it also. Rocio? No teacher, thank you. Okay. No. The, the number 10 in the final exam. Uh, sorry, Irene, uh, can you repeat your question? The number 10 in the final exam, only that. Me. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's what we're going to learn this week. So that's the one that we have because it's the different types of writing, right? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, let me see if I have. Uh, number 10 is usually what kind of questions will you be asked uh, in this type of independent writing questions? Ah, yes. Uh-huh. We're, we're going to see. So 
we're going to learn that uh, today, actually, I believe, in just a moment. So we have different types of things that you're going to be asked in the writing, okay? So let's take a look, and that way we can watch some of the videos and make sure that we are ready for this, this part. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Let me see. If... Welcome to the last section. Can you hear or no? Yes. Yes. The, vol hear. the volume is okay? Yes. of this course, the writing section. Welcome to the last section of this course, the writing section. Here we'll study independent writing question two. We'll tell you what it is and what is expected from you. As always, you will have time to practice and to take the writing test. Good luck. Okay, so we can see we're gonna be looking at the writing questions uh, specifically. We're going to see what type of questions they have. This is question number two. How It's going to explain to you how they score it, how you get your points. Let's move on now to the last section of this course, the writing section. We'll go over writing question two, the independent writing question. We will see how the question is structured, how to approach the question, how your response is a score, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question two will look like. For this task, you're presented with a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. There's no maximum length for your essay, but a good response is usually at least 300 words. So what is the question asking you to do? Question structure, 30 minutes, 300 or more words. The independent writing question will ask your opinion on an issue. So often you'll get a question such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Or do you support or oppose this idea? Question structure, your opinion on an issue. Do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Do you support or oppose this idea? Use specific reasons and examples. Approach tips. Make an outline. Some people like to travel with a companion. Other people prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Don't memorize. Scoring criteria. Scored zero to five. Development, organization, language use. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how each question is scored. The essay in the writing section will each be given an overall score from zero to five. For question two, the independent writing question, the writers are looking for three main things. You'll build in tips, read opinion essays and write about them. Time yourself and plan. Write and revise in 30 minutes. Learn how to find and correct grammar mistakes. Remember, when you practice, you may find that you're making the same kind of grammar mistakes over and over. So learn how to correct them. Then, when you write your essay, leave a few minutes to go back and make those corrections. Okay. So, still got a little bit more, but really, the probably one of the the biggest things that we need to know is getting used to writing the time okay because you only have 30 minutes to write as you saw most of the questions the independent are going to be one of those topics it's going to be uh do you agree disagree an issue do you give so your often opinion? you'll get a question this is going to be the issues normally it's going to be uh what do you think about right so that means do you agree you disagree or uh which is better 
or which is worse? This is which this is the question for which would you prefer? Okay. Or do you support or oppose this idea? Maybe they're going to make a car park or, or they're going to build a, a shopping mall in the center of the city. Do you agree or disagree? Okay. And then the important is to include those different things that they mentioned. So what are some of the things that you need to know for your scoring? Well, the same as before, always it's zero to five, specifically working on the grades of development, organization, and the language use, okay? Similar to when you speak, same ideas. Now, what do they really mean by all of those things? Well, uh, in development is, what it means is how well you address the topic, how well you uh, details, examples, and reasons to support your ideas. So what they're talking about when you say development and when they grade your development is, okay, did you understand it? Did you, were you able to explain it clearly? Were you able to do these things? Okay. As far as organization, Okay. An organization is, did you write in paragraphs? Uh, did you only make one paragraph? Did you have uh, periods, separations? Um, did you use transitions? Transitions are like, uh, f uh, furthermore, uh, on the other hand, therefore, uh, uh, because, so, th these types of words, right? Did you give examples about what you're talking about? That support the topic. Did you did you stay focused on the topic and then develop it more, okay? And the last part is avoid redundancy. That means that if you say why you support one reason, why you support it, then in the next sentence, you don't repeat the same reason. You give a different reason, okay? That's avoid redundancy, is avoid repeating the same thing. And then, sorry. And then the language use. When they say graded for language use is the structure of the sentence, you know, short sentences, long sentences, the type of words you use, the vocabulary that you select, okay? And the use of grammar. Do you have S or uh, past perfect or present perfect or third person or whatever, all of those different types of grammar that you can use to answer that question. That's the idea if you're implementing the language use, okay? Any questions for how you are graded, what those words mean, and how to develop it better? No. Everybody's okay for that? So, so? So, so. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's all about, okay. So, what are the, what do, when they ask you for writing, what are they asking you? What are the things that they're going to ask? What are the different types of things they ask you for? What do you think? When, Repeat, please when you are doing the writing part, they ask you for three different things, okay? The questions can be for different things. So what are some of the, what are some of the types of the questions? The, the organization. Okay, that, that, that's for how you are evaluated, but the questions, what can, what can be the different types of questions they ask you? So, in when they give you the writing, okay, what are the different things that they can ask you? Um, one is to yes the topic, maybe. Okay, kind of. Okay. Let's look at that video one more time. So, okay. So, 
So what's the first thing they ask you? Look at the video, what does it say? What's the first type of thing they ask you? That's right, exactly, there you go. <laughs> okay, excellent, that's the first one, good, good. Okay. okay. All right, we'll get little by little, little by little, okay. So, okay. So the first one is opinion. Our opinion. Questions such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you yeah. prefer, or do you? This is the first question. This is the first answer for question number ten. You see it in it? That's the first part. That's part. That's the one. Okay. So after opinion, what other things do they ask you? Do you agree or disagree? Correct. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Agree or disagree. And what is the third type of question they ask you? Which would you prefer? Exactly. Those are the three different ones, you see? Mm -hmm. And that is your answer for number 10, Irene. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you see? It, that's why I say it's in the video, but sometimes you just have to pay close attention to what they're saying. Uh -huh. Right? So they're asking you for the opinion. Is it impl is implicit? Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. If you agree or disagree, that's the agreement. And which is your preference? Those are the three different types of questions they ask you when you're writing. In, in which one? Sorry. In the last one, in the final exam, Danny. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Is is com is complete as see you, uh, your opinion on issue is, is just one. And, uh, I have to write just two, okay? No, you have to write three, right? The opinion, agreement, and preference, because it says that in, in the question number ten. But the answer is just opinion one, agree or disagree two, and the preference or, 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 or what? Only you only write that, Danny. That's it. No numbers, nothing else. Opinion. Mm -hmm. Agree. Disagree. Disagree. Okay. Cecilia, Rocio, any questions? Not teacher. Okay, and for you, Rocio? No, no, I'm okay. taking notes. Okay, all right, because today the two of you are very quiet, so I, I want to make sure it's okay. It's okay, Danny? No. I, 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 I wrote opinion, comma, agree or disagree, no. And, no? Look in the chat, Danny. Look in the chat. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -huh. No, agreement. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because one is the verb and the other is the noun. Okay, yes. Sure. Irene, you're okay? Yes, thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Um, so that means that today we're going to practice our first independent writing question, okay? So for that, uh, we're, we're going to have our partners. What, uh, Danny, it's okay or no? Yes, that's yes, okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank so, you. So you're welcome. So. Uh, the questions that we have, this is the first exercise, independent writing question. So, sorry. Uh, I don't know why it closed. 
but it was do you agree or disagree with that give me one second i'll pull it back up so that you can see the questions okay do you agree or disagree with the following statement okay so with your partner one of you is going to answer that question uh, do you agree or disagree remember you need to write three paragraphs and you need to make sure that you put in supporting ideas everything that they just explained right the other partner is going to put compare and contrast your way of life with that of your parents which way of life do you think would be more satisfying to future generations so the same thing okay so let's what we're going to do with our partners are no, not even with our partners. We're going to do it here. We're going to do it in, in this group because it's a writing, okay? So I'll give everyone, let's say 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to write. You can choose which, which of those questions you want to answer, okay? Choose which question you want to answer. This one, do you agree or disagree, or the second one? And I'm going to make it smaller so that it's easier for you to see, okay? All right, so you have 10 minutes with your partners to write and put your answer in the chat. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, go. Let's go. You have 10 minutes.
One more minute, one more minute. Okay, time is up. As you can see, it's not a lot of time. 10 minutes, it goes by quickly. You have to organize it, especially when you're writing. Okay, so now you have three minutes, three minutes to proofread. That means you have three minutes to check your spelling, your grammar, the vocabulary, period, uh, punctuation, you have three minutes to check all of those things. Look for mistakes, correct the mistakes, take three minutes and check your writing.
Okay, so let's pause there. It's just about time. Uh, it's just more than anything right now, a reflection for yourself to get an idea. So how did you feel? Did you, did you feel that the, the time that you left for proofreading helped you? Did you feel that the, the time that you had to write is too short? Tell me a little bit. At the beginning, I, th I, I thought that 10 minutes was a long time. But while I start to to writing, mm -hmm. I I I check that the time is very short because <laughs> I think, wow, I have to do a, a big paragraph. <laughs> After that, I, I I my paragraph is not too long. <laughs> so at the end, I I I thought the the time was very short. Okay. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Okay. All right, well, don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing the writing. The important is for us to mentalize that it sounds like a lot of time, but when you are working, it's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time. It sounds like, oh, 30 minutes. No, but because you need to have time to organize, you need to have time to write, and the most important, you need to have time to check your answer and correct the mistakes. And this is really fast, really fast, believe me. So have a great night and we will continue again tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Take care. Take care. Hey, see you. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.